welcome to a new watercolor tutorial in this video we will be drawing and painting a watercolor scene from imagination i will be explaining the entire process and uh, the overall idea of this is not to make a beautiful painting but to introduce you to a practice by which we can all improve in our imagination and in watercolor skills hi friends i am vanitha smangathil let us learn watercolors together if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and press the bell notification i'll be releasing more and more videos uh, uh, every week let us begin the discussion now i'm using a 300 gsm watercolor paper and uh, the brand that i'm using is called chitrapat it's an indian brand you can use any watercolor paper of your choice preferably uh, cold pressed 100% cotton that is what i prefer okay so i uh, here the idea is that uh, uh, i am just trying to uh, start from uh, no ideas i just wanted to make some scribblings and then we will we will try to make it so the idea is i wanted to make it some make some elements and then i wanted to add couple of figures so some elements and adding couple of figures that is my objective so the primary objective of adding element is to think about how can i add figures in a in a fitting way that is what is the objective of this exercise so i think you can also do this kind of exercise just uh, make some elements and uh, you uh, try to add figures so that it creates some story it it con conveys uh, something to the viewer so that is what the, that is what is the idea so i really do not know these are some some shapes i really do not know what what they are maybe uh, every time uh, i think this comes out to be some some boats now and uh, maybe uh, maybe a couple of boats maybe uh, maybe a car here i don't know a boat and car can be in a same scene but let us let us try to make it okay a car is maybe car is <coughs> probably parked uh, around a beach okay so maybe these are the sort of ideas and some some additional elements maybe I really do not know what these things are. Uh, we may avoid some of these drawings. Okay, the idea is just uh, to get it moving. Okay, get it starting. Right. So let me let me wet the paper and let us create some sky. Okay, I'm just wetting the paper, and uh, we wanted some sort of colors. Okay, so I'm just picking some. maybe blue colors some uh, some cerulean blue sort of some colors okay and maybe some purple color some purple okay uh, i am changing the brush because now i want little bit more control so i am using a smaller brush a round brush some kind of uh, purple and maybe a little bit of burnt sienna little bit of blue touch of red I, i just wanted to make some sort of a grayish purple sort of a color i just want to create some interest by leaving some whites there paper whites blue 
maybe blue and adding some orange to that I don't know some sort of color variation make some sort of uh, a ground color which could be little bit of <coughs> a brownish color just clues I'm just trying to follow my instinct whatever ideas I'm getting I'll probably use that maybe I'll use a wider brush now okay. just little bit of burnt sienna and orange burnt sienna and little orange I am taking okay this is not very uh, I don't know it is not very realistic color for a beach but I think it's okay maybe I want a little bit more darkness here so let us add some kind of purple color I have some purple color and let us mix it purple color I'm mixing that with the previous brown warm color okay right now what we need some color for this smaller brush switching to smaller brush and what kind of a color we need for this let me take Let me take some bright red color, maybe a little bit of orangish warm red color and this has to be dry. I would prefer this to be dry now. That, that is sufficient for the primary color for the boat adding some darker purple color for the bottom adding some burnt sienna and blue mix to get it very dark and let it be very dark okay let this also be dark underneath this boat also let it be dark and we need one more boat here and for that boat let us make some maybe cerulean 
blue color okay see i am not taking much care i am not taking much care to avoid the bleeding etc i'm just allowing everything to sort of merge together the idea is to just actually i'm just trying to follow whatever idea i am getting this is, this could be another boat and maybe here we will add some something some something in purple okay maybe a little not as dark little watery color i think we got we got some shapes now and i think this car went too tiny but at this point i don't have any uh, we can't make it all right so this looks too tiny for me now uh, but i'll try to I'll try to make it some the the front portion okay <coughs> and maybe I want some very light tone for the for the front glass maybe I just wanted to sort of merge it This is not a, I I don't think this has come out well but I think Uh, it, see whenever we make this uh, we do this kind of painting just without idea if you just proceed uh, without worrying too much sometimes you may have this kind of issue so we have to live with that okay because what our objective is to maybe uh, improve our imagination and get little bit more confidence etc so it is perfectly okay if uh, if you don't get very precise result okay this relating relative to the car these boats are little uh, little bigger so we have to whenever we add figure we have to consider this car as the reference okay this boat could be little bigger okay so i think we have to add couple of figures i think our figures are going to be slightly smaller in size uh, just because we have a car which is uh, smaller in size so let us make this figures maybe this figure the car could be around the shoulder level of the figure okay and we can add some okay there are some figures i uh, i i really think we the car car should have been little bigger okay so if you are making it if you are following along you make the car little bigger Uh, if that is an option if you have already done the drawing uh, you may not that may not be possible but if you are just watching it and uh, then deciding to follow along later you can then make the car little bigger okay 
okay yeah, fine now let us add little bit more figures okay maybe a couple of figures here maybe a figure uh, facing this side maybe <coughs> he is bending forward and uh, doing something maybe he is looking inside the boat and he is doing something here okay and there could be some some other guys who is only the top portion of the body is seen here okay and he is also doing something maybe some guy is inside this boat and he is doing something and there could be there is something here i don't know what the, what it is maybe there is another guy they they both are probably doing something on this okay on top of the boat really do not know what they are we we have to create some stories okay so <coughs> there could be some sort of a ladder here I really do not know what this is. That could be some foreign boat or something. anything more something here okay uh, maybe here we can this looks too plain uh, let us let us add something here I really do not know what we have to add. <coughs> think of. I'm just thinking what we have to add here. I think it, it can have a little bit more of a shadow here. What else? This area looks very blank. What we can do for this? This looks really blank. I wanted something here, some elements, but I wanted some shadow here. But if I add anything here, there is a chance that it might uh, go and block the, the car. So maybe what we can do is. Maybe we can just draw a line here where the car it's a path for the car probably i don't know and so we can do something here think of what we can add here maybe maybe there is something here maybe there is some object kept here could be could be some big container or something i don't know what it is the 
there is something here so that it kind of occupies some some of the space that's it something darker here maybe something is kept there what else i think that's it we will sprinkle some something here that's it please don't ask me what these things are why i have added i'm just listening to whatever my mind is saying this is a way of practicing okay so this whenever you just uh, practice it by just by listening to whatever your mind says things of this uh, things of uh, these kind of things may happen okay so please don't uh, worry too much about the final outcome okay i'm just trying to create some texture here yeah. so then it doesn't look very blank it doesn't look very blank okay i'm cleaning my brush and with a just with a wet brush i'm just making few lines so that they don't really look very they don't look very artificial they they just create some interest that's it the they have some color variation or something it doesn't look too neat okay i think we are pretty much done now i will add probably some vertical lines here so that the the land and the the sky area are sort of connected okay these are some kind of uh, compositional decision probably okay these are some decisions on composition you you can avoid or you can keep adding okay okay i think we yeah, are pretty much done with this and let us give some final finishing touches okay so we will add some we will take some orange color directly from the tube and we will add some touches to the figures the faces basically faces and hands etc and if you if you want any other highlights maybe you can give it here maybe here you want some orange touches you can do that uh, okay i think a little bit of orange here will be good okay so yeah and maybe some touches of white to give some highlights so let us let us use a small brush okay it's a liner brush small liner brush and i'm using some 
white color directly from the tube white water color okay and i'm just giving some highlighting touches okay they will kind of pop up this uh, figures little bit okay those figures are otherwise not very clear you should be very careful when you are doing it it is very easy to get overdone it is very easy to get this overdone some dots here and there and maybe some uh, uh, a suggestion of suggestion for headlamp okay see the idea of this uh, practice was that uh, you can start with just to demonstrate that uh, we can start with some vague ideas or no ideas just start make start by making some drawing and uh, look at the drawing look at the uh, uh, do the initial washes and look at the washes and how they are coming to uh, how, how they are looking like how they are turning out uh, like then you can use your imagination to uh, keep uh, modifying it i mean developing it still there are a lot of things here probably and some white areas are still there but i wouldn't probably worry too much about this okay so if you really want to make something you we, you may have to make something here we can make something to cover this area this white is creating some problem so if you think that is really a problem what you could do is you could take some you could think of what you can do take some color okay and maybe you can add some 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 kind of a shape some kind of sh shadow i don't know what this i'm just blindly doing it okay i'm just blindly doing it i would probably use a touch of white because uh, the tones are too strong there i'm using a touch of white to kind of uh, make it little visible there see this again is it is kind of a little bit of an opaque kind of a treatment there but since we we made a mistake there i am just trying to fix those things so what they are i really do not know what they are they they are something it it should be something but i really do not know what it is maybe some darker tone somewhere don't ask what it is please please don't ask what it is this is just a kind of a shape that's all this is just a kind of a shape just something just a kind of something something that is blocking something that is something. i really do not know what it is i think we'll, we'll finish it that way that is something some imaginary stuff there okay so what we can do is we can just uh, 
finish it by signing it. Okay, we are done. I hope uh, you, you found this video informative and uh, the, you could learn something uh, from this. If uh, I had a second chance, I would have made some changes to this. I would have made this car a little bigger. So I would ask you that you can, you can make this car bigger. Okay. I would have avoided this. Okay. Because uh, that just happened. And uh, yeah, probably <coughs> uh, I would have used... Uh, uh, slightly different colors, but regarding the colors and all, I am happy. I am pretty happy. I am. I would be happy to even pick this as a reference and do it on a larger scale. This size is uh, smaller than A4 actually, so it's a small size. So we, I could have done it on a slightly bigger size, uh, and I would have made little bit changes to the sizes of the boats. Okay, and I would have made the car slightly bigger, and I would have added a couple of more figures around the car or somewhere here. Okay, so but that this gives an idea. Okay, this 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 kind of uh, exercise develops your imagination, and uh, that it also uh, creates or it also uh, enhances your watercolor skills, and your decision making skills, and lot of lot of things, and also your confidence, and you get a unique piece of art which is not a copy. So thank you very much for being with me. If you like it, please uh, like the video comment on the video and share it so that uh, this video can be reaching to more and more people and uh, if you have any questions or suggestions please do write them into the comment box below i will surely try to get back to you as early as possible so thank you very much and uh, we'll see you in the next video